16 now this morning, you know, I walked outside this morning, Evan, yep. and it was kind of that it was that light kind of drizzle almost where you're like, just rain or stop. Yeah, and so far, I mean, these are our rain totals for the day so far, really from midnight through now, and it's been so minimal. Things have been so light. I mean, two one hundredths of an inch so far in Spokane. That's why all in all, it's kind of going to be just a dreary rest of the week. We've got a lot of rain expectations, but nothing really too major coming our way. Yesterday, we talked about totals in general for the next seven days. Looks to be less than an inch in most spots, and this agrees with that. You can see we're nearing maybe a tenth of an inch around Pullman and Walla Walla. Some spots overnight saw that rain pick up a bit, but for the most part this morning, it's just a light drizzle out there. Lewiston hasn't picked up on anything thus far. So what do our precipitation chances look like over the next 12 hours? Well, they are significant in that there will be that drizzle hanging out with us for the day, but there's no real portion of the day where we're expecting a heavy downpour. It looks like that rain will just kind of be constant and a nuisance throughout the day. Uh, snow levels are between about 5,000 and 7,000 feet. That means in spots where we are still seeing active snow snowfall that's up toward the Canadian border and along the Cascades. Well, we are expecting most of that to let up in the next several hours and the next couple days. If not, uh, chances are likely, though, that most of what we're seeing in the form of snow will turn over to rain relatively quickly. And you can see on satellite radar, uh, this is almost like an atmospheric river that we saw earlier on in the year, closer to about the new year. Uh, that's just continuing to push warmer air towards us. You can see this is coming from the south southwest uh, as opposed to up toward Alaska. So since we're getting kind of this wave of warmer air and moisture, well, it's staying in the form of rain, obviously on the west side of the state. And even as it begins to push over the Cascades, a very little amount of uh, pink and white on there, indicating a lack of snowfall over the mountaintop. So that is good news for those making travel plans over the Cascades. Although you still want to take caution, we are moving toward a, a pattern of more rain than snow over those mountaintops. Uh, temperatures right now are going to be mainly in the 30s if you're headed out the door. 30 for Spokane right now. 37 in Moses Lake and Yakima and Moses Lake. We are not picking up on rain or snow right now, but a little bit of fog actually. Uh, the rain continues through Spokane, Pullman and Sandpoint and temperatures up towards Sandpoint are still in the low 30s, but highs in the afternoon, almost 40s across the board. That's some good news. It will allow for a lot of snow melt today uh, up toward the international border. Of course, a little bit more difficulty getting there. 38 for Colville this afternoon, 38 for Kalispell, 44 for St. Mary's, 42 in Spokane and look at those 50s on the screen down towards South Central Washington, Richland, Walla Walla, both going to make it to the 50 degree marker in the afternoon. You can tell these temperatures are well above normal. Uh, future tracker is showing how the rain continues throughout your day. Here's 8 a.m. We've got a good amount of it across eastern Washington and into North Idaho. It continues into 2 p.m. in the form of rain entirely. You can see how it transforms up along the Canadian border. By 10 p.m. today, we are going to be seeing these showers begin to push farther off to the east and then taper off into early tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. You can see by Friday tomorrow around 5 p.m. We'll probably just see some scattered showers, but keep your expectations low because Friday is not going to be the end of this wet weather. We've got uh, showers continuing in the form of rain and snow for Saturday and then Sunday more rain. It looks like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We will start to see a trend of drier weather, uh, but really the next notable chance for even the sun to come out is about a week from now, Wednesday of next week. The good news though temperatures remain uh, steadily in the 40s. So uh, definitely a good chance to see a lot of that snow continue to melt off.